Hello and welcome to Infinity. Last time we looked at using the in painting brush here. Um, we found we could paint away these people here, but when we started doing the little bits in the background, it got into trouble. So what we're going to look at now is a bit more manual method. Needs a bit more care, but can do a lot more erasing. So if I go to this one here, it's called the clone brush tool. It looks like a rubber stamp, and in fact, if you hit the letter S, then it's a shortcut to it. So we'll go to here and we'll look at how it works. And what you do is it's a it's a brush like other things, so it's got a width, opacity, and hardness, and just ignore everything else. So I'm going to put the opacity right up. The hardness can be I usually leave that very low and the width change as we like, normally using left and right square bracket to increase it. So if I want to paint away this person here, I want to select a bit of grass here to paint on top of him. So I'm going to go over here and then you hold down the Alt key and click on that. And see there's a little letter plus there where I was. And also underneath the circle here, you can see what it's going to paint. And if I sort of go up here and start painting here, look at what's happening. I'm getting some funny things happening. It's not looking realistic here anyway, but then also this this bit of ground here it came, came from, this path appears. Because what happens, if I do that again, I'll click over here and go over here, watch the little black square that we left out. You see that little black square moving? That's where it's copying from. So as I go down, it see here it's picking up where that black square is on the path. So you can be very careful about where you do that. Let's undo that. And I so I alt click here again and and I try to match up a bit. See there's like a paler green so I can match that that stripe across so it matches nicely there. Then when I paint this, this is going to happen. But also, here's another problem that starts to happen. Oh, look. It's painting out, because what it does, it picks it up from where it was before. Which can be useful, because I could move him like that closer to his friends. But maybe that's not what I want. So what you do is you find somewhere, it's usually good to find it a bit far away, but it's got to match the colour, so you usually have to be quite close. Paint for a bit, but then lift your, your, the finger from the mouse, and then start again. And now it'll just pick up from whatever's here. And you can just, literally doing little little strokes. And even we'll see like up there, it's, that is really a copy of this up here. I can get a bit of that and paint that over here. So I can do the same with people here. I can alt click over here and paint them. Keep your eye on where the little plus is. It's quite difficult to see. Look, see I did that. So I tried to do too much at once. It's often a good just to do, do dabs and things, and then you can Paint away people, you, the more you need to take care with it, and a little bit of practice always helps. But you can see then, when you get to something like this, where there's a tree, what you do here is left square bracket to bring down the size of the mouse, of, of, the, of the brush, alt click on the edge here. Now where I paint it, you can see where the edge of the tree is, so I line the edge of the tree up down here very carefully. Now I can keep that tree edge. I've got it painted away and I just paint a bit away there. Then I can come over here and paint in the rest of it. So a little bit of care and that can work. What about those folks up there? See if I can get to them and paint them away. So now let's find somewhere what these things up here. So I alt click on here, so try to find the right way, somewhere you can get a level. Now I can just match the distance there. 
I can start to paint here and I lift the, the thing down again. Now look over here, if I move too close here, I start to paint that tree trunk again. This tree trunk's copied there. Maybe that's right, maybe you don't want it. Uh, you don't mind that's there, it's not going to make much difference. You can also Alt, Alt, click, say somewhere in here and line up that line there and paint away that one there. So there you go. You can paint things which are the ways which things which are difficult to do with in painting. And usually I use a combination. I'll do in painting first, and then for the tricky bits, I'll use the clone brush tool. That's it. And uh, somebody asked me about saving. All you need to do is file. If you'd go to export when you save it, normally you click as a JPEG and click export. And if you have imported it as a and you know, opened it as a JPEG, then you can just go file and save and it'll save it back to the JPEG. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.